26 million people suffer from diabetes. 34% of people are either overweight or obese. I would go on, but I think you get the picture. Weight is a huge problem in this country. I've seen what fast food can do, and it's shocking. It can change people's lives. If you listen to me today, I, um, I'm not saying that I will change your life, but maybe next time you'll think twice before going to a fast food restaurant. Before we begin, let me say something. What causes all this unhealthiness? In short, it's fast food. But the real problem is people just do not know how many calories are in the food that they're eating. If you go into a McDonald's, you'll find in the very back of the restaurant the calorie sign. All the way in the back, in the corner. Because the um, restaurant thinks that if people see it, then they won't come to the restaurant anymore. This should not happen anymore. There should be advertising so people are properly informed about what, how many calories are in the food that they're eating. And guess what? Nobody's doing anything about it. Up until recently, Mrs. Obama, um, she started her obesity campaign, but that was just the past couple months. Up until now, nobody's done anything. Shouldn't the government force people, shouldn't the government make laws forcing the restaurants to properly advertise? I think that this would be a great idea. In my mind, fast food is defined as inexpensive food, such as hamburgers and fried chicken, prepared and served quickly and easy. Today, I will convince you that fast food restaurants must advertise how many calories and what their food cause can cause in people. Here's a number for you to wrap your head around. Nine million plus. That is the salary of James Skinner, the CEO of McDonald's, and that's not even including stock options. Shouldn't he do something to earn that money? All that he's done has caused unhealthiness in the world. Obesity can be linked back to every top filler in the world. Heart disease, diabetes, osteoarthritis, sleep apnea, the list just goes on and on. 2.5 million people per year die from it, only second to tobacco smoking. Tobacco smoking, it's in front of, it's only behind tobacco smoking. Here's a map for you, which shows the growth of the obesity rate in the United States in the past um, 20 years. As you can see, as the years go, obesity, the obesity rate in each state increases dramatically, till finally at the end, Every state is obese, except for Colorado. The only reason they're not um, like every other state is because they have the least amount of fast food restaurants in the, um, per 100,000 pe 100, people. Do you think there might be a link between that? But I'm not asking you to totally abolish fast food. That would be horrible for the economy. It would ruin people's jobs. I'm just asking you to tell people what's in it. Here's a reading from a recent New York Times article. Um, here's one quote from it. In a study of millions of transactions at several hundred Starbucks outlets in New York, economists from Stanford University found that consumers at a New York Starbucks cut 15 cal calories off their purchase, a 6% decrease when the calories were posted. This may not seem like a lot of calories. But this was only for a Starbucks. Imagine if they did this on a larger scale in a fast food restaurant. So, to those who oppose me and say, well, this is a really bad idea, the facts are there. People actually do cut back if they know what's in it. Sure, some will ignore it, but even if just one person decides not to eat, to go to that restaurant, that could change other people's minds. But there is yet a third issue which we must confront, and that is what the food causes. Top killers like hypertension, coronary heart disease, on adult onset diabetes, stroke, gallbladder disease, osteoarthritis, sleep apnea, and even respiratory problems can all be traced back to McDonald's. One major um, 
disease that I'm sure you all are familiar with is diabetes. Diabetes is a condition in which a person has high blood sugar content, a blood sugar level, as a result of the body either not producing enough insulin because the body or because the body cells do not properly respond to the insulin that is produced. One way that it's brought on, if you go to this website, in bold letters it says obesity, diet. I believe if they were to properly label these meals, that would no longer be a factor. In 2001, on direct media advertising, which is radio, television, print, McDonald's spent $1.4 billion, and they didn't even say what's in their food, or what it could cause, like diabetes. Go down. Okay, here's a map. Or go down a little. Of the people who have diabetes in the world, in the, the United States from 2008 or 2007. Down south in this area has the most amount of fast food restaurants. And as you can see from the map, they're, they have the most diabetes in the country. From now on, you need to force them to advertise their products. So this can dramatically increase. Over 10% of the people in Mississippi are, have diabetes. It's a huge amount. One way that you might be able to do this is to maybe institute penalties, like first offense, second offense. Like, if the company does not properly advertise or plays an advertisement that um, doesn't tell what's in it, you can maybe find them or, or figure out some other kind of penalty. I realize that this would be a really tough task to accomplish. So I just want you, as a, um, an, an individual, to just think next time you go into a fast food restaurant, or maybe write a letter to the Food and Nutrition Service asking for this to be done. Overall, I believe that fast food companies are bad that should be advertising regulations on their products. Companies are unfairly profiting by not informing people, and people are then gaining weight and dying contributes to diabetes and allows food chains to grow out of control. Studies show that it's only healthy for a person to eat diabetes once per year, or once per month, no matter how much they exercise. I, don't, I want you to think twice before eating fast food. Huge, it's a huge problem in the world, and I think it's time that we get America back to shape. Just remember, the journey of a thousand pounds begins with a single burger.